So now, you know, apparently his supporters are cheering the speech. They, they feel it was very masculine and very guy. But maybe his, you know, chief of staff, John <laughs> Kelly, didn't seem to be as thrilled when he was listening to it. You'd throw this up. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a, a former general, right? Yeah. Hold on. I mean, yeah. Wait, that wait. Looks, that looks like one me. More? Yeah. That looks like me on election night, frankly. Uh, uh, <laughs> but, but it's significant because he's, he started that pose right after he called uh, North Korea a band of criminals. And that's when John Kelly did this. Remember, he's a former general. He knows all about war. Yeah. And he knows the implications of Price. declaring war on a, a, a regime like the North Korean regime. The memes well, are making their the rounds, though. Someone, right. someone wrote something like, I'm collecting the faces of John Kelly like Pokemon cards. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Last year, an Obama said of North Korea, quote, we could obviously destroy North Korea with our arsenals, but aside from the humanitarian cost of that, they are right next door to our vital ally, the Republic of Korea. I Which mean, brings us to the yeah. question, you know, does, is anyone thinking about what this really means? Well, to China, to, we China, are. to you South know, Korea. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if anybody else is. Because it's, you know, tough talk is fine, but this is not, this is not <coughs> a separation. This is, the Koreas are side by side. Right. Yeah. So are we evacuating everyone? Are we, how, how is this going to work? And I think you also have to think as Americans, does this make America safer, really, this kind of rhetoric with, with North Korea? Because really. our president is supposed to keep us safe. And I don't know that tweaking the dog nose, like you said mm -hmm. yesterday, Whoopi, right. mm -hmm. makes us safer. It, I, I think it, it makes well, calling more, names. our enemies... Yeah, it makes what, our what enemies want to come you, after 12? us. What are you, 12? Well, I, that shouldn't... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like a kid. At this point, though, I think the name calling shouldn't surprise us. For yeah. one. But the one thing I did hear, and I think this was noted with some of the people that jumped out more bipartisan and said mm -hmm. it was a strong speech, was mm -hmm. there were parts where he kept saying sovereignty. He said it like 21 times. Yeah. And we talked about how, in some ways, it came off despotic. Like, you know, mm -hmm. we will protect our own people and you protect your own people. But then he contradicted himself in some of the parts on North Korea when he said, but if you touch our allies,